inspirational inventor, you probably know Joy Mangano from her wildly successful products on Home Shopping Network, HSN, and her life story was brought to the big screen back in 2015 with the movie Joy, starring Oscar winner Jennifer Lawrence. Who showed you the mom? Who sold it to you? Who taught you how to use it? And who convinced you that it was great after you thought it was worthless? Now, Joy is telling her story in her own words in her new book, Inventing Joy, Dare to Build a Brave and Creative Life. With me right now is entrepreneur and inventor Joy Mangano. Joy, it's great to see you. Hi, Maria. What a time in life for entrepreneurship, don't you think? Exactly. And yeah. you have such a fantastic story. Here's your book, Inventing Joy. Yeah. It had to be hard for you to start and push through on something as simple as a mop. <laughs> That's exactly right. Well, as you'll see in the book, you know, a no is not a no. There are some counterintuitive philosophies that I have in the book. And the resilience through the 30 years of building a business, now $3 billion later, wow. amazing, right? But the book will inspire and delight everybody, everybody that wants to change their life. And it's the formula. It's my blueprint for success. I live by it every single day. And well, the movie about your life inspired you to write the new book. Yes. Usually it's the other way around. Exactly. So, exactly. So, so you wrote the book because you wanted to make sure people understood exactly how you did it. Well, you know, it's funny because um, after the movie came out, I've been standing in front of America for 25 years talking about the features and benefits of products, right? And so when the movie came out, People, it had a touch point for everybody. Amazing. Jennifer Lawrence, Robert De Niro, you know, I, it could Bradley Cooper. It's true. And yeah. um, so what I realized is people wanted to know the road, the, how I got to success on all levels, not only in business, personal and all that. So hence I said, now it's my time to really give back. And the book is that blueprint, but through story. So when I learned it, you'll learn it. You'll feel like I'm talking to you next to you, reading this story, and you absolutely will have all my lessons of success in business for sure mm. and throughout the rest of what, your life. What was your hardest challenge? What, what was the toughest thing that you faced trying to get people to understand what you were doing and, and to get your mop out Exactly, there? right? Because it's, you know, what do you do, Joy? Oh, uh, you know, if I said an inventor when I was a young mom, they would have put me in the corner at the cocktail party. So, um, you know, I think the biggest challenge is, as everybody has, is getting started. You, you feel like you don't have to be good to get started. You just absolutely have to have that passion, that belief in yourself, and put start at something. Start with something yeah, but you that you want to do. You need money. Yeah, well, Joy, how'd you get money? You, well, there are various ways, and you don't have to do it all at once. People think you have to mortgage the house, you have to give up your job. None of the above if you pace yourself. But if you don't take that first step and keep going, you know, it's funny. To this day, I still hear no. You know, you think that by now they think I get it. Right? <laughs> and so, you know, one of the counterintuitive philosophies is a no is not a no. A no to me is a time, it's a starting point where you say, wait a minute, why did I hear that no? What do I have to change? What path do I have to follow to get it to be a yes or to be moving forward still? So did you call on the same people when no was no, or did you try to get other people That's involved? a very good question. It depends, because if you get a no here, you might find a yes right. there, or you might reassess and go back. And whether it's a product, whether it's a service, whether it's everything, and anything is a product, whether it's a service, whether you're a doctor, whether, you know, anything. So you never lose sight of your viewer, mm. your consumer, your customer, and you always, I always fight for that customer, whether it's quality, pricing, I never lose sight that that is the smartest person out of all of us for me. How did you, I, I mean, the movie was, the movie was accurate 100%? The movie, well, yes. And I, because, I mean, you didn't have anybody helping you. I mean, you didn't have any employees. You're right. I mean, according to the movie. So it's, how, how did you produce this mob yeah. um, to have it ready for sale on Home Shopping Network? Right. Well, the movie was accurate in every aspect except maybe me jumping into a soap opera. I don't think I physically did that. Okay. But, but that resilience story, that story of, you know, where, you, where, it's, where there's an obstacle or wall here, you have to find a way to the left of it, the right of it, over it, or under it. And it really was... 
I look back at that path, I talk about that path, and we all experience that, you and your career as well. There are, you know, where you're sitting today, you might not have envisioned that 20 years ago, right? That's right. But it's, so you have to be able to go with that path and let it keep leading you. But the minute you stop anything, there is a 100% chance, 100% chance that nothing will happen. Right. So you just never stop, never right. give up. Nope. And, and and back back to the money that you needed the financial support. You used your own money, or you, right? I did. I, I had a little help from my family. Right. You know, people say don't lean on your family. I say the opposite. Family is there. Surround yourself with people. You know, if you have. As an adult, a lot of times we grow up, when we're kids, we're fearless in a lot of ways. But we grow up and we say to ourselves, no, 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 you can't do that. You can't change your career. You can't do that. You, I found that surrounding myself with those positive, light, bright people really helped me keep, when I said to myself, I don't know, you, you got that little push from somebody around you. And that, you know, is, and family is a natural phenomena mm. that's around us where we can turn to. So the book is called Inventing Joy. That's not just a play on words. That's actually right. your inspirational message, right? Yes, exactly. This book, anybody, young, old, male or female, successful beyond their years or just starting out from college, it will inspire every single one. It is my blueprint. It's the success formula. I followed and follow today, and it's through story. So your, it's a great read. Your big bro your big break was Home Shopping Network, it, HSN. It was actually QVC, which will which will be QVC HSN, as you well know, Maria. Right. So very QV soon. QVC was the big break. It was. It was, and that was something I absolutely had no. I didn't even know the three letters, right? right. But there I ended up, hello, on a stage in front of a hundred million homes. Talk about the mop. It was. It truly was depicted perfectly in the movie. That was my life moment of transformation for me. Wow. So when you were mopping, you, you just got the idea, you know, I should sell this. This is a good idea yeah. that I just came up with. Right. Well, if it were that simple, that would be great. But it was, uh, <laughs> right. I mean, How did you even get the courage to say, I'm going to go find QVC and, yeah, no, and go sell I this didn't. Mop. I actually, that wasn't the goal. The goal was to just make a really great mop so that you wouldn't have to use your hands, right? To make the mop better, more innovative. And it took me a while to do that. And I literally demonstrated in person at flea markets and fairs and so on and so forth. My dream was to get it in Kmart's across the country. That is so but great. But what did I do? I ended up in a whole other industry, right? But now you can find it in retail oh, everywhere. Fantastic. <laughs> Check out the book, Inventing Joy, oh, Joy Mangano. It's great to see you. Thank you, Maria. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Joy Mangano there. We will